Hey everyone and welcome back to the layout. Uh, it's been a bit over three months I believe since my last update. Quite a lot has changed stock wise but nothing has changed on the layout. Uh, due to I've just been a bit busy at the moment, just started my full time role in my job now so quite a lot has changed in, in my life but not much has changed on the layout but it will be changing slowly and, and gradually will be changing. I'm hoping to move this layout outside soon only because I want to expand a bit more and I'm running out of room in this and the room's already pretty much maxed out so that's still under plans kind of budget it out and I'll spend around showing you some new purchases firstly I got some containers and a trailer here sitting around in front of me just in front of the school put that out of the way and I know it's a mess at the moment, so it's, these are both by Walters. Very nice. And that's an Athen container, which I wanted to see how it looked, and it looks pretty nice, to be, to be honest. So I've got my 66, which you guys have just recently seen. And the reason why the ruler was there is I'll just want to mark out some changes. I'll get to in a second. So 66 sitting there with uh, some new additions. Just spam across. So they are from Buckland. Similar to the containers, the concept of it, it's um, they come in a pack of two. Except these ones, like the Buckland ones, have a uh, four baggy. Um, a two bogey set on each end, this one only has one. It means it can't take as sharp a turn, which is what I thought it mean, but if I unclip it if I can. I'll show you the underneath. There we are. It's actually spring loaded, you can't really see it, but it can it can hold with ease these these turns I got, these all set track turns, except for maybe one or two turns, but they're pretty much easements, but it can easily, without a doubt, take set trek. So if you guys are looking at um, getting these, I would recommend them. They're nice spring loaded so they can handle any curve. They haven't had any problems with them. They take my little incline up there really well. So that's pretty sweet. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so also in the container, I just my, my containers here at the moment, which I will be changing. I had this idea. Um, so I went to the uh, trade show just over the weekend, so I had this idea of changing it. They had a really good display. Um, they had a off a container yard. It was a dis basically a disused container, which is what I'm going for. But the amount of detail they had on it in such a small space, I was I was amazed. So I'm looking at changing this 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 area here from when that um, class L8 is all the way up to some um, Sam Skip uh, container is when that ruler is. Changing all the the dish track layout here. I'm not too happy about this location of the point, so I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm hoping to put a curve point right where that BR blue is on this flexi track here. So I'm going to measure it out and have a curve point coming out. Nice easement will come through. So you're looking at the curve point straightening up around about here. Flicking out a, probably a set track, maybe a string line. I'm not too sure if i got another string line hanging around anywhere. And nice um, right right hand turn, and then two tracks all the way down, all the way down. So instead of having the set track which goes onto a straight track, but then goes into another set track, it's not not liking it. It's not flowing enough for me, and that way I can have. Um, hopefully, I can fit this whole four car brake inside one, and I'll have one just to fill up the. Uh, the cars onto the uh, these two trailers here, so I'm planning it out. Still trying to work out if it will fit or not. Um, I'll get back to you guys hopefully within a week or so. I'll have it planned out. Of course, I need to still buy this curve point here. Um, most likely after I pause, after I finish posting up this video, I'm going to take that curve point out and mark it out, move it down, and just see if it will fit. But um, or worst worst case, I'll just hop onto the website and print out a, a full size printout which I have roaming around. 
but not for me blabbering on about my um, changes. Um, class 66, you guys seen already, have I said, got that. I got my MPV, which is my latest purchase running around, it's on the outer line. I'm running all freight today just to show you my new purchases. I uh, always wanted one if, um, I always wanted the MPV as soon as they came out and I had a bit of problems with the incline with him. It's just like my class 70 I had to change the track around a bit, but he's running smoothly now. He hasn't derailed or anything for the last couple of hours of running, so I don't think anything will happen to him. But just scoot around a bit. So that that's my latest latest new purchase now. I'll, while at the hobby um, exhibition, the model train exhibition, I did pick up some secondhand stuff. So if I just pan the camera down for you guys, I got my CSX SD70M running. Uh, he's currently pulling some new reapers which I picked up. So these three reapers in camera view now. Picked up three for forty dollars. Picked up this box car coming around that was four dollars. And this last box car here, this white one was. Four bucks, and I got an exactly old box car here. This is about twenty odd dollars. I got this brandy from my hobby store. I just wanted to work out how much detail these exact rails I heard great reviews about them, and I was amazed. So, exact rail, uh, Atlas, I believe, Buckman, and these three are Walters. I'm looking at getting another two if I can. I'm trying to trying to hunt some down. Trying to look at their website, I'm trying to get at least another two, hopefully, so I can make a whole rake of them. I'm just surprised on how, how well they look in the layout. They are 74, 74 foot car uh, um, reefers, I believe, it's into scale, so 74 into scale, because the exact rail one at the back there is at, I believe it's 50, if I'm correct. I believe these ones are 74. And I always thought, oh, they're going to struggle around my corners, but. These could run easily, um, second radius without a doubt. Wouldn't have any, anything, um, nothing would have any problems. They've got knuckle couplers, metal wheels, and they haven't had any problems. They're pulling at a constant speed, so they're nice, they're nice and durable. So the SD70M isn't having any problems, so either with the Ace, if I do decide to run with my Ace. Um, so they're looking good at the moment. I'm pretty happy with my boxcar fleet now. I've got plenty of boxcar slash reefers. Um, I'm thinking instead of getting um, some more reefers, I might get a, a trailer car at the back. A couple of trailer cars. Not too sure. And another purchase coming around is um, another one by Buckman. It's the Class 37 in Ralph Rate. Right? This one's designed to pull pull off the petrol and the oils. I believe with that symbol, they will, I was told. It's number 37428, David Lloyd George. I probably can't really see it, and it is moving pretty quick. There we are. Not really quick, but the camera can't, can't keep up. It's got um, directional lightings, cab lightings, and it's just pulling a standard Hornby load, which I will be getting rid of. Not not too happy with... Um, this was a long time ago I purchased these um, tankers, so I'm not too, not too happy with the purchase, but... It was a good, oh, good at least five years ago, I believe. And yeah, they're not too bad for what I paid for them, so I'm looking at getting rid of them. They're plastic wheels and they got the wide couplings, and they're no good to me anymore. Um, I'll probably just store them away and keep them for a bit and just use them as filling up sightings for videos and all that. But other than that, um, to me, they're not prototypical enough. The amount of detail I'm running at the moment. Uh, as you guys can see, I'm, I'm deciding just to buy things once and for all. So if I like it, I buy it. And if it's worth, if I think it's a reasonable price, I don't see why not. Like for example, Class 37, something I always wanted, I got it at a decent price. The MPV, always wanted, got it at a decent price. And these these things were just bargained to $40 for three. I had a look on the website, they retail for $22.95 in a kit, so you have to build it up after the kit, and these are pre-built. They got exactly what I wanted, KDs and metal wheels, which was all I purchased from the store. They didn't have metal wheels, and if it didn't have KDs, I wasn't looking at it, so... Uh, I had a really good, um, good, really good buying experience there, even though I was a couple of hours late, so I did miss out on all the... Normally I try and go there by about 10 10.30 to get all the purchases, I was there at about 
I'm around 12. And I missed out on some good buys, but that's just how it is. Um, the track's a bit dirty at the moment. Uh, the headlights off the 37 are already gone off, so that means it's lost power somewhere. I'll just turn it back on. But yeah. But other than that, the layout is as it is. I'm still waiting on some scenery work to continue on the track work, but I will be changing this for sure. So probably by the time I upload this video, edit it, and by the time it processes, I'll probably be already hard working on this section here. I have to remove all my hard work, but to me, the longest sightings is a must. I'm really, really annoyed about how short these sightings end up coming up. I was pretty disappointed and when I saw the idea from the model train exhibition yeah, it kind of took me took me back and thinking I can do a lot more better with the space and if it all goes well I'm hoping to put I said earlier in the video a right handed point but just remember I got a spare streamlined left handed point hanging around so I'll just come quickly around so much stuff on the floor I haven't cleaned this place out in a while but it's since it's indoors, don't really have to clean it that often. I just dropped. Alright. Stay there for a bit. So just to show you guys an idea. So the curve point will come around. I'm gonna I'm gonna most likely take it out somewhere here. So it'll be third radius here, third, third, third. And that'll be second. So second will probably straighten out. So about I could say about the about the and so that'll be my run through line. So the trains will come through, run through, um, out through these points, and my shunt, my head shunt area, which I'm pretty pleased with to be honest. It's probably the only best bit, bit about this side of the track work is that I have a head shunt. Um, obviously, a 66 is not the ideal thing to be there, but the only thing I have space for at the moment facility is kind of full at the moment um, but yeah the head shunt will fit only stuff like an 08 shunter or my Athen shunter will fit there perfectly but that's the general idea most likely I'm just thinking about I'll probably use this streamline point chuck it probably somewhere there it's two streamline track up uh, two flexi tracks coming out and generating a nice long if possible, nice long two siding side by side. Having them side by side has the advantage of I can have scenery on both sides. So I can have scenery on this side with the plastic or with my container yard, and off the other side before the roadway, which is the problem I'm having now. After putting the roadway up, I realize there's not any space to have any of my scenery work here. Even though most likely I'm going to paint this whole area anyway. Don't really, I don't see why not. I shouldn't paint everything, but thinking about it, I want. Scenery, two tracks, scenery, roadway. So, I've, and I've seen some nice small container lifts which will fit in there perfectly. So, that's the idea. And there's also, it also means just it probably will smooth out this curve a bit more. Some trains kind of struggle around this curve a bit, especially with um, a couple of carriages behind them. That also mean that it will be a nice flow if you're going around the outside of the curve. We'll go second to third, so instead of being um, instead of having a point going down and then sharp, it's going to be a nice curve point. So the inside will be continuing on with this second. So this is second, so the inside will continue on with the second, and then the outside will go out for third. Which will, I'm predicting will come will make the curve come up to about here. Um, that's if I ease it out a bit. Uh, this point will no longer be here so I won't have this problem here. And these points here are, um, are not too bad so I'll keep them just how they are. I was thinking of changing all this to streamline points but I realized I'd have the problem of um, the set track gaps because as, as you see there's, an, there's um, the set track gap curves are here and they go on to the junction. If I have streamline I'll have a gap of about three ties gap at least. Which will mean I'll have to cut up track, which means I'll have gaps and I'll have even more problems. Even though the easement will be a lot gent more gentle, I'll have a lot of gaps and I'll have a lot of cuts. I'll have a lot of uh, wheels bumping as you can probably hear. But at the moment it's not too bad. 
most trains can get through it pretty pretty easily. Um, but that's about it for this video, guys. I know it's been a couple of months. Hopefully, I'll post some more videos up as soon as I can. Hopefully, this one doesn't have any problems with the uploading. It's not the greatest weather outside today in Sydney, so. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I know this video is a bit dark as well. I decided to record it at night. Don't ask me why. But um, stay tuned for, for some more updates. Hopefully, I'll post one fairly soon if I do decide to do any more changes. But at the moment now, I'm just going to measure out some some track changes and try and implement them. Try and take out all this track here. I'll most likely leave this container bit for the time being. Probably only get track down. Probably only get this, this all this track here. Not even a point. I'll just get the flexi track out, all this track out, measure it up, see if it fits. Hopefully it will, and that way I'll have some nice long sidings, which should be, which which one of the sidings will actually be four cars, four car longs. It should be. So if I just clamp that up. Uh, clip that up, sorry. Yeah, the, the, one of the sidings will be four cars long, but with, that's with the car sitting on top. So that means I can have two two cars starting with ease of um, a full 66 or a full 70 back up to it onto as well. So what happens is the 70 can back up to the first load, back out onto the main, and then pick up the second load and get on the main line from there. And with this run through track here still being there, the, the train's not facing the wrong way. It can easily decouple, um, shoot itself back on onto the onto the passing loop, back up to that 66s, um, uh, back up to sorry where this point is. Uncouple, uncouple where that uh, 37 tanker is. Come down the track. Went back on the main track, flick the points, pick up its load, and head down to the three mine point junction where those tankers are, which are directed onto the middle line. Head down, um, head down the line, which should be good. So I'll get to work hopefully soon. I'll get to work probably later tonight, so I can hopefully show you some changes. It's a long weekend this weekend, so I decided to make a video. I had a bit of time up my sleeve, and again the lights gone off. It's a bit of dirt on the track, so I have to fix that up as well. So I'll keep this trains running for a bit, for probably, for probably an hour more. Let them run. They don't get a good run, so I'm still um, running them in as well. So they should be getting half an hour each, at least in each direction. I tend to have just run them with loads, but at low speed. Um, the loads that I'm running at the moment, they they don't really count as a load. 37 is running plastic, so that doesn't count as any weight, and the MPV is only carrying itself, so it should be. Good, I'll change the directions probably halfway through. But this video is coming to an end, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I really apologize for the no videos in three months. Just been a bit busy, that's all. And I really wanted to post a video with some new scenery work, but they yet to come in, which is the only problem I've been having. But yes, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and keep in touch for some more videos. And I'd like to thank you guys. I'm pretty heading close to 100 subscribers already. Uh, just my last video, I believe I was talking about 50, but now I'm already on my way to 100, so I um, hope you guys enjoyed, and take care, happy modeling, if you have any questions, feel free to post it down below, and I uh, look forward to reading some of your comments, alright, uh, bye for now.